so in this video I am going to find out the rank of a matrix of this square matrix in three methods so first method is that I am just going to use the element transformation method so that is going to provide certain we are going to use a some relation with these rows and columns and finally we are going to find out the minimum number of rows and columns uh, that exist after applying this elementary transformation method so first method is that elementary elementary transformation method so for this case you can observe here we have this row and this row are the same so they are dependent so at last uh, we can uh, do subtraction between these two rows and one of the row is going to be entirely zero and after that if you are finding out its determinant and that determinant is going to be equals to zero so this means that if the determinant is equals to zero then this rank of this matrix is less than this number three this cannot be equals to the number three because its rank or its matrix its determinant is equals to zero so because of that its rank of this matrix square matrix is less than three or we know that the rank of a matrix is less than or equal to this minimum of these rows or columns since these rows and columns are the same so minimum of this three and so right here for let us apply this elementary transformation method at first let us make this row 3 is row 3 minus of this row 1 this minus of this at this position or at this row is going to be 0 so and after applying this transformation method this a is going to be 1 1 and 1 1 minus 1 0 0 0 and 0 and now let us apply the transformation method for this row 2 uh, in order to get some equivalent form and after having this equivalent form the number of non-zero rows or columns are going to decide uh, the rank of a matrix so for the equivalent form these elements present inside this triangle must be zero since we have this one element non-zero so at at this row two so we have to do some transformation at this row two such that this element must be zero and after making all these elements as zero we say this as a clone form so i'm using this transformation method for this row two so this row 2 is going to be equals to this row 2 minus of this row 1 and after applying it this matrix A is going to be 0 minus 2 0 0 and 0 and finally since we have this all these elements are 0 so this is in terms of equivalent form and now looking into this non-zero rows we have two non-zero rows so the rank of this square matrix is going to be equals to 2 so this is the one way to find the rank of a matrix and the other way of finding out its rank is that let us have this matrix again And now we can also find out but another way is that some of the pupils can equally find out easier easily there is some relation between uh, these rows and columns and and you can observe here when you are let this be column 1 this has column 2 and 3 and to get this column 3 we need to do certain operation for these two columns and that is the relation which can some people can see that 
that is this c3 is equals to this sum of this c1 and c2 whole divided by this 2 and when you do this for all these three cases you can observe this column 3 for this case you have to add these two elements and divide that by 2 we are going to have this one for this element first of all try to add these two elements we will get 0 and 0 by 2 is 0 so we have that same thing for this row if you are adding these two elements it becomes 2 and after dividing it by 2 we are going to get this as 1 so since we have this relationship that is c3 equals to this c1 plus c2 by 2 so its determinant is going to be equals to 0 so one relation between these columns this means that this rank of this rank uh, this rank of this square matrix is less than a value 3 so finally we are going to have only two non-zero columns so this rank of this square matrix is going to be equals to 2 and this is the second method and coming to the third method and for this third method we are going to use the minors by looking into the minors we can predict the rank of a matrix this rank of a matrix is not equals to uh, 3 we know that it is not equals to 3 by looking into this relationship or transformation method this relationship or transformation method so now we need to find out the non-zero largest minor is going to be the rank of a matrix the square matrix so at first let us bring the square matrix again so for this element that is uh, a33 it is having a minor as this thing so for this element the minor is is 1 1 1 and minus 1 and if you are doing this determinant and which is equals to this minus 1 or minus 1 which is equals to minus 2 which is not equals to 0 so this is 2 cross 2 and the non vanishing minor order is 2 cross 2 and the so because of that this rank of a matrix square matrix is equals to highest order non vanishing minor non vanishing minor is the rank of this matrix and the minor is for this element as I have picked one of the element and it's having this as a minor so after finding out this determinant which is equals to this minus 2 which is not equals to 0 so there exists this minor which is largest that is 2 and the minor cannot be equals to 3 because it is already a 3 cross 3 matrix and we also know this rank is not equals to 3 so its rank is going to be equals to this 2 so these are three methods to find uh, the rank of a square matrix